Hello kids, how are you doing today? Ready for a new lesson? Okay, just let me get rid of this noise. Okay, now let's continue. I uh, was telling you, ready for the new lesson? Actually, I'm gonna ask you to please bring out your, your guides and see. We have for today, Monday 8, a listening and speaking activity. According to our guide, we're going to work on page 158 and page 160. So I'm gonna walk you through to solve these pages, explaining you and helping you how to do it. So please get your books ready, take them out, and let's switch our screen. to our textbook. Okay, listening and speaking. The instruction says, um, listen to the conversation again. Circle the correct answer. This is going to be very easy for you. So I'm gonna play it again so we can listen. Listen to the conversation. Children, please be quiet. The class is about to start. How is everyone today? Excited! Are you ready for career day? Yes, yes Mr. Mr. Smith. We have a special guest today, Alice Williams. She is a journalist and she's here to share with us what she does at work. Good morning. Who can tell me what a journalist is? Is it like a reporter? Yes, reporting is part of a journalist's job. A journalist also writes articles, reports the news, and conducts interviews. Where does a journalist work? A journalist can work at a newspaper or a magazine, on TV or radio, or for an online news site. I work in television. I sometimes work on radio shows, too. When do you work? I normally work five days a week, from Monday to Friday, but sometimes I have to work during the weekend if something important happens. What did you study to become a journalist? I went to the university to study journalism. How long did you study? I studied for four years to earn my degree. What equipment do you need to work? At the office, I always use my computer and the internet. When I'm on TV, I use a microphone to do the news or to interview people. All right, class, let's continue with more questions. How often do you interview people? I interview people twice a week on my afternoon radio show. What kind of clothes do you wear to work? When I'm on TV, I usually wear nice clothes, like a dress or a suit. But when I'm on the radio, I can wear my jeans because nobody sees me. Why did you decide to become a journalist? Because I'm good at talking to people. I like investigating. And the most important thing is that I am never rude to people. OK, class is over. Let's give Miss Williams a big round of applause. Thank you for your attention, everyone. I can't wait to get home and tell my dad about career day at school. Okay, kids. So uh, now that we have heard this, let's go. Today is, and you have to check the correct one, maybe um, draw a circle. If it's career day, uh, show and tell, or show your talent day, you tell me which one is the correct. So it's not gonna be difficult for you at all. So once you finish with this page, let me change the camera to the other side. Um, 
we must scroll down and we cannot do the role play because we're alone. Uh, we're home alone, right? So um, maybe we can take this uh, segment when we come back to school. But at the moment, let's keep it like that. So it's going to be 158 and I said page 160. So here's page 160. Um, you have to listen to the audio one more time. And then you have to number the sentences in the right order. I'm not going to play it again because you can just rewind the video to the moment of the audio and, and hear it. So you'll have to go and tell a journalist can work a, at a newspaper or a magazine on TV or radio, etc. And you will be writing numbers. Uh oh, I am not trying. No, for example, this is one. For example, this is two or this might be three, I don't know. You have to listen again and write the, the correct number for each sentence, please, kids. And at the bottom, it's very easy. Work with your partner, it says. Take turns asking and answering these questions. Your partner has to guess the occupation. So, um, as I said, we don't have a partner right here. So what is your name? You can use, um, I don't know, maybe you can get your your telephone with a WhatsApp and chat with some of your fellows, some of your friends at school. Uh, for example, you can call, uh, let's call you, for example, Amy, you can, uh, no, you're not in this class. Um, Lady, me, I'm sorry. Maybe you can chat one of your friends. Maybe you can chat Lori asking, Lori, what's your name? And she's like, Lori, uh, where do you work? Uh, I work at a school, for example. Or you just can use your imagination to answer these questions. Don't get yourself too complicated with it. And that's going to be for today. We're only reviewing what we have started last week. So kids, um, I'm happy that I have been with you one more time. And I hope to see you again. Just please be safe, stay at home, and do your homework. All right? Until the next one, kids. Bye-bye.